Hey, this is CND Channel. I'm Chris. This is MMA for you. I'm going to be doing my prediction for Bellator 90, which happens on a Thursday, uh, February 21st. Um, as far as the card goes, I, I think it's a pretty good card. You know, you got the main event of Rad Martinez versus uh, Shelby Lot Um Some uh, light heavyweight tournament semifinals going on, and also welterweight tournament semifinals going on. Good matchups there. And even the prelims are pretty strong. You, you got guys like Lionel Lanham, Jesse Juarez, he's really good. Jordan Smith's there, he's fought in a Bellator tournament. Chase Beebe, Travis Mark, Shannon Slack. Uh, you know, so. Uh, looks like a pretty good card overall. Okay, let's get started. Okay, Brad Martinez fights Shabalot Shemalayev. Uh, for the Season 7 Featherweight Tournament uh, Final. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one's really hard to, for me to call. One thing that was really impressive about Shemalayev is that he knocked out Mike Richmond. And Mike Richmond's a guy who knocks out everyone. <laughs> um, Record-wise, you know, Shemalayev, 11 and 1 record with 1 draw. 4 of his wins are by KO TKO. 3 wins are by Decision. All of his other wins are unknown, <laughs> actually, according to the Show Dog Fight Finder. Um, he's 29 years old, and he's on a five-fight win streak. He trades at the Red Fury fight team. And this guy, you know, when you saw him fight, like, I believe it was Cody Bollinger, showed some really good ground and pound against uh, Mike Richmond. Showed some really good, had showed some power and some good counter-punching. Um, Rad Martinez, though. Total grinder, man. He's on a five-fight win streak. Trains at Victory MMA. Good wrestling. His stand-up's greatly improving, and he's pretty strong in the clinch as well. He's always pushing forward. Um, I thought it was really hard for me to call because you know Shemalayev knocking out Richmond. I, I kind of wanted to go with Shemalayev. However, I, I think that Rad Martin. I'm gonna go with Rad Martinez here. I, I think he's just gonna grind it out. He'll do well on the stand up, you know. Um, I he's just a tough guy, a tough and gritty guy. Um, I well, he could get downed by one of uh, Shamalayev's uh, punches. I I can't see it happening. And Martinez can always go back to his wrestling as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Rad Martinez to grind this one out and, and get the victory here. Okay, next right after that, Mohammed King Lawal. Uh, King Mo Lawal fights Emmanuel Newton. Um, it, how can he really not go with King Mo here? You know, Emmanuel Newton, solid fighter, good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, karate style stand up. But King Mo, former Strike Force light heavyweight champion, strong wrestling. You know, good top control, good ground and pound, and his boxing solid as well. He has some power in his hands also. A seven of his nine wins are by KO or TKO. Um, got to go with King Mo to win that one. Okay, next right after that, you got Jacob Noe versus Mihal Zayats. Um, Noe, it, you know, he got that win over Seth Protezelli, um, and it's actually on a nine-fight win streak. You know, he has an 11 and 1 record with one no contest, and five of his wins are by KO TKO, five wins are by sub. So he is the type of guy that finishes fights. But Zayats, you know, he's been around the block, 20 and 6 record, four wins by KO TKO, 10 wins by sub. Um, he has a six fight win streak and trains with Rust Fighters. The thing is, um, it, it, as you can see in this fight against and win over Babalu. You know, he can be a bit unorthodox at times with the striking. You know, going for spinning back fist. Um, I remember when he fought um, Vinny Magalash. He was actually pretty, doing pretty one to stand up. Hitting some really good leg kicks especially. Until, uh, I believe it was a third or fourth round where um, Magalash got a head kick uh, victory on uh, Zayats. And, and, you know, he wasn't like, you know... Michael Lash had a hard time getting him to the ground as well. He has a good ground him himself, Zayats says. So I gotta go with Mihal Zayats to win this one. 
Okay, next fight after that, we have Brian the Beast Baker versus the Phenom Douglas Lima. Lima was supposed to fight Brent Weedman, but Weedman had to pull out, and Baker is now filling in. Um, he's taking the fight on short notice. What with Baker, you know, he's 27 years old. It's good. He has a judo background, good offensive takedowns, and good top control. Stand-up's good, but I believe I think he has some defense uh, liability. You know, problems with his defense. Two of his losses are by KO Tico, after all. Lima is someone I'm really high on. And I think it's probably the second best of all to wait in Bellator. 23-5 and five record. 9 wins by KO Tico. 11 wins by Sub. Chains at ATT Atlanta. This guy is strong Brazilian due to he's really good off his back. He has good kickboxing. He beat um, me how... Yeah, Mihal Zarev, if I'm not mistaken, by kicks, <laughs> by leg kicks, more or less. Um, and he's been showing just KO power in his lot in his previous fights. Um, and the only thing that has me worried is that his takedown defense isn't that great, and he can be a little too content off his back. It kind of plays into Baker's game, and that's how Baker beat. Um, Ben Saunders. So there is some cause for concern here uh, if you're picking Lima like I am. Um, but yeah, I gotta go with Douglas Lima to win this one. And finally, we have Ro Ro Amaya versus Ben Saunders. I and mean, Saunders already beat Amaya uh, last March by unanimous decision. Um, you know, with Saunders, he uses rubber guard when he's off his back, throws triangles and whatnot. His Muay Thai is really strong. His Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and overall is really strong. So is his Muay Thai. But his knees are the things that are very dangerous. Rome Amaya has an 11 and 1 record with his only loss being to Ben Saunders. Uh, five of his wins are by KO Tico, six wins by Sub, and he's 27 years old. So he is a finisher uh, when he wins. Um, he had a really fun fight in his last five. Forgot against who. I mean, they were just kind of going at it, you know. And Amaya um, managed get, um, to win by TKO. But I gotta go with Ben Saunders to get the win here again with his Muay Thai game and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game. Okay, on to the prelims. Uh, Lionel Lenham fights Joe Rodriguez. Interesting fight in the sense that Rodriguez has no. Pro, this is his first pro MMA bout. Lionel has fought in like Strike Force against TJ Cook. Um, he has a four and one record. All four of his wins are by KO Tico, and his one loss is by KO Tico as well. He's 32, so all of his fights, win or lose, end in a finish. Um, and he trains at Jackson's slash like Mean One, which is Keith Jardine's gym in Albuquerque. Gotta go with Lionel Lanham to win this one. <laughs> okay, next fight after that, we have Trevor Carlson versus Terry Davini. Okay, Trevor uh, Carlson has a 6 and 1 record. Two of his wins are by KO Tico, and he has one submission by strikes. Terry has a 10 and 5 record. Two wins by KO Tico, six wins by sub. Um, he's on a four fight win streak. I'll go with Terry Davini to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, Dave Allred fights Sean Powers. With Sean Powers, all, he has a 6 and 3 record. All six of his wins are by submission. Um, he has two losses by KRT and one loss by Sub. And he's on a two fight losing streak. But all of his wins, uh, all of his fights, win or lose, end in a finish. With David Allred, 11 and 4 record, two wins by KRT eight wins by Sub. So he has, some, he has a good. Um, Submission game and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu game, and he's on a six fight win streak. I'll go with Dave Allred to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we have Jordan Smith versus Jesse Juarez. Jordan Smith, you know, he's fought in Bellator uh, before. He fought like uh, Andre Kurishkov and did pretty well against him, actually. Went to a unanimous decision with him. And before that, he got um, getting knocked out by Rickles, if I'm not mistaken. Think about, no, I think, I'm thinking of a different guy. I think. <laughs> uh, memory has escaped me here. But with uh, Smith, 17-4 record with one draw. Six wins by KOTK. Eight wins by Sub. 
Um, he's 28 years old. He's on a two-fight losing streak. And he trains at Victory MMA. With Jesse Juarez, he's has an 18-8 and eight record. Five wins by Karatiko. Six wins by Sub. He also has five losses by Sub. And he trains at Body Shop Fitness. Uh, well, one thing with Juarez, he's a really strong wrestler. If you actually watch his fight in MFC against Douglas Lima, he kept taking him down just pretty much at will until like the third or fourth round where Lima managed to get a um, triangle choke and, and finish him. Um, and the guys at Body Shop also tend to have really good cardio. Body Shop is Antonio McKee's um, gym. I, I got to go with Jesse Juarez to win this one. Okay, next fight after that, we had Chase Beebe versus Travis Marks. Really good fight here, actually. Um, Beebe's a veteran, you know, 24 and 8 record with one draw. 17 of those wins are by submission. He's only 27 years old, and he's on a six fight win streak. It's good stand up, but his strength really is in his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, Travis Marks has a 19 and 4 record with one no contest. Four wins are by KO Tico, 10 wins are by Sub, and he's 35. Trains at Jackson's. One thing that's notable about him, of course, he beats Ma he beat Masakatu uh, Ueda. He was like a top ten uh, bantamweight uh, for the longest time. He is bi uh, big for the weight class, and he's a good wrestler as well. He has a good overall grappling game. So this should be really interesting. But I'll go Chase BB to win this one. And finally, Shannon Slack fights uh, the undefeated uh, Josh Tyler. Tyler has a 2-0 and undefeated record with both of his wins by submission, and he's 29 years old. Shannon Slack has a 5-1 and record, 2 wins by KOTK, 3 wins by decision. 29 years old, and he's training at Rain MMA. He's a good wrestler. I'll go with Shannon Slack to win this one. Okay, to recap, uh, I got R Ran Martinez beating uh, Shelby Lot Shamalayev. Uh, I got uh, King Mo beating... Emmanuel Newton. I got Mihal Zayats beating Jacob Noe. Um, I think that Douglas Lima will beat uh, Brian Baker. And I feel that uh, Ben Saunders will win in the rematch against Raul Amaya. On uh, to the prelims. I got Lionel Lanham beating Joe Rodriguez. Terry Davini beating uh, Trevor Carlson. Dave Allred beating Sean Powers. Jesse Juarez beating Jordan Smith, Chase Beebe beating Travis Marks, and Shannon Slack beating Josh Tyler. So that's pretty much it for my predictions for Bellator 90. If you have any comments, just leave them below. That's it for MMA for you. Thank you guys very much.